So I got this Nikon uh, 70 to 200 millimeters uh, 2.8, the Nikon lenses, and uh, it doesn't work. Now from the, uh, the looking looks like there's uh, the twist here doesn't cannot be rotate. It looks like there's a lot of dust here. If you look at here, the white, they are all, um, looks like it's, it's a sort. Uh, I think it might be a sort dust along the barrel. So um, you see this thing, then uh, I guess the first thing we have to take care of is just to remove how to, uh, otherwise the lens won't uh, open it up. So uh, let's see. So let's first take over, uh, take care of this part to see uh, if we can understand what is wrong here. Mm. It looks like there's a lot of dust coming out. Wow, it looks from here, there's lots of those dust. There's a lot of erosion here happening. The lens, I have a feeling uh, it might be dropping to the, the water. Or it's not only the water, it's the sea. The sea water. See the sort? is everywhere. So I still cannot, I decide to take off uh, this two screw here. There's some double side tape here just to uh, tape uh, the cover. Take off the very carefully. Now this cover is off. So I decide to put on some of the grease on the, the very light oil. The grease on the where they have lost those. I use my looks like wow there's a lot of I can hear the grinding sound that is a lot of sort and let me see it start to uh, come out. Okay, the first we just try to align some of the screws here. The first one. See this is uh, the brushes. Yeah, the plastic bushes. So now, you know, all off. Now it's come out. Okay, now this one is off. This is great, the first step. Now I have to uh, clean it up. See a lot of sorts uh, which uh, totally blocks the things. Okay, the, the rust here, the sort rust, you can see? So next, uh, just continue to take uh, around uh, eight to nine of those uh, screws off. Now with all the screws are off, so uh, I can feel this one is getting loose. So I think the next one we have to take off those uh, wire. Open the gate, take out the first one, gentle, and uh, the black one as well. Okay, now both of them are off. Let's see. Very gently. Well, 
Wow, it's all the rust. Look at it here. All the sort. So now this lens is all broken into two parts. So I think this one is just with uh, the aperture. I think I can feel the image stabilizer is here in this portion. And here for sure it's manual focus and also uh, um, the change of the zoom. And also uh, the autofocus is here. Um, I need to make a decision uh, to guess which part is wrong. Um, my feeling is, is this part. So um, let's continue to break down the, the image stabilizer part. Take off this four screw. The screw on the side, the tiny ones. I think there's a two uh, lock the, the pin and uh, there's a three a little bit large ones that lock the, the cover. The cover is off. I think this one, because it's a little bit stuck because of the, the sword, so it makes a little bit hard to uh, take it off. As while I'm taking off, I can feel all those uh, The sand do a clean. Okay, there's a six screw inside. Let's take it up. There are three on the higher layer, three on the bottom layer. So I decide to take out the the first uh, layer close to me, the higher layer first. One, two, and uh, this is uh, three. Okay, now the bushes plus the lens coming off. Let's to get another one. Okay, this is another lens. Put it aside. I think I will start to, uh, since I don't see any screw here, so I think I start to work on the other side. The black ones, there's a three black one here. Now these things I think it's off. Everything is fine here. So there's a uh, three uh, white dot. So you have to a plastic dot. You have to take it off. Um, so they hold the barrel inside. So after you take it off, so you, then you can um, you can move the stuff inside down. So then uh, I think the whole stuff then come off. So that is the tricky part. So you have to remove the three. Uh, three plastic nails that nail the barrels inside the the, the the outside shell so this part uh, you can see this is uh, the aperture control so this one will eventually hook up to the to the another part that we uh, disassembled before and uh, you can see this is uh, the Nikon uh, image stabilizer. 
you will see those uh, the corel here with magnetic fields. And this model, I think, is just for parking. So um, right now it's parked. So then uh, this one, when you carry, you won't, uh, you won't shake. So when this one is in on states, so as you can see that this image stabilizer start to, uh, to, to be uh, suspect to the magnetic fields. Um, so basically that is the image stabilizer. Since uh, we don't see any problem here, so then uh, we just put uh, this uh, upper part back. So first is the aperture, then uh, we need to put back this thing. So everything make sure it's on the, the hole is here aligned. So then we can put those, uh, the nail, the plastic nail back. So since we opened this one, uh, we uh, clean up a lot of those dirts inside because of the, the sword. The sword has been, uh, especially when we open the lens, the sword is spread out and uh, so there's a lot of uh, dirt on the, on the lenses inside. So now we clean everything up. Now we put this, uh, the back elements back. So this one won't get confused because this nail is a pretty tiny one, it's not big one. So you only can find the three. And also this cut has to be a leave for this two data wire. So you see there's a cut here. So this one has to be aligned always towards this data pipe. Put back the, the bushes. So there is only one angle that you can put the um, this element back. So then after you install this one back, put those long nail back to its position to uh, to fix it. So now we need to install the another lens. Put the bushes back. As you can see that this one is also can be only mounted into a certain angle. So same here, find the right angle before you put everything back. In store the aperture control back. So this is by a two black little screw here. Okay, so this one is on. So basically, uh, this is shutter control from the F mount. Here comes the F mount, the camera's control. So everything is good. Let's take the the rubber protection back. Now put back the the two little screw for the pins, pin control, and also uh, put back the the rest of the uh, the cover. And make sure the aperture control installed correctly. So now 
let's put it back. Now it's good. Make sure the aperture control moving freely and uh, there's no issue there. So now everything's good. Now we put the rest of the screw back. Okay, now everything is good. Alright, everything is back. That's for now.